What's going on, my Mongolian Sea Pirates? Today we're going to be going over my Jail build, which uh, only uses four traps and is very mat conservative. It works by uh, using two floor launchers and two wall lights. Uh, the way we're going to do it is we're going to stagger our wall light timings, and it's going to uh, infinitely stun lock the husks, uh, leading to us basically winning the mission for free. And we can go farm or do whatever during it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. The constructor loadout we're going to be using is Power Base Nox. He's going to heal our structures for 11% of max health every 10 seconds uh, where affected by the bases. Uh, we're going to put on recycling because we want our mats back and we're going to get as many mats uh, back as possible. We're going to get grease the wheels because we're going to have a decoy cooldown so we can decoy husks to where we want them to be. We're going to have frozen castle so we can snare the enemies a little bit so they can walk a little bit slower. We're going to have tough traps on to keep our durability of our wall lights and our um, floor launchers available. We're going to have mega base, uh, which increases the base connectivity by a uh, one. And we're going to have lofty arch architecture, so uh, we increase our building health. We're also going to have our oh shit buttons, which are banner, uh, which will increase the health of our uh, walls that uh, are in a one tower radius, as well as we're able to spawn on it. We're going to have slow field so we can slow down the enemies by a lot if uh, they're beating on a certain wall that we don't want them to. Uh, the traps we're going to use for this are going to be, let's go to my schematics, we'll go to this. We're going to be using a uh, 2 reload speed, 3 impact uh, and knockback uh, floor launcher just to get them into the jail. And we're going to be using a wall light with 2 reload speed, 1 impact and knockback. Uh, and two durability and then one effect duration. This helps a lot with the timing of our wall lights as we're going to uh, stagger them, stagger their timings. The mission we're gonna be doing is a power level 140 retrieve the data. It's gonna be a four times mission. It's gonna have wall weakening, all these things that uh, are really annoying when you're jail building. Uh, it's gonna have. So we're gonna get these four times pure drops of rain. Uh, if we look at it, it's a firestorm, epic mini boss, smoke screens, wall weakening, slowing attacks. Uh, and we're gonna do this solo uh, with this jail build. Okay, well, so the first thing we're wanting to do when we get into the mission is uh, we're gonna look for the balloon. So the balloon's right here. Uh, you can just look up at the sky and you'll see it. We don't wanna actually um, go to the balloon until Ray tells us to race her there as we'll get better rewards. So we're just gonna sit around, farm a little bit until she says, yo, race me there, I can uh, beat you to it. And we're gonna go over there. Exposure to the storm will hurt you a lot. You'll take damage when you're in the storm. So uh, I wouldn't do this house. in a public lobby as uh, a lot of people won't know what you're doing. We but going into private, you can the solo these missions really easily with the, the setup I'm going to be doing. So you'll want to move quickly. We only have 20 minutes. Keep an eye on the storm's movement on your map. All right, so uh, we have our countdown for the weather balloon until it lands. And we're going to wait till uh, she says, We've race me. So you'll see that bonus, find the site before Ray. Now we can go over there and do it. And we'll get that silver medal bonus. I don't know how much uh, it affects it, but uh, if there's a chance at better rewards, I'm going to take it, if I'm being honest. So we're going to go all the way over here. We're going to clear out, clear out all the enemies around it uh, first. I'm going to just use the Blizzard Blitzer because it's a really fun weapon to use. And same with the Shroud Pound. But we're just going to clear out the area around it. We don't really want Husks in here attacking us when we're doing what we want. personal. Oh, the surround pound. This is my favorite weapon in the game, guys. I'm being honest. All right, so now we've cleared out the area. We kind of want to get rid of all the stuff around it. Anything that could impact uh, the husk's pathing, we want to get rid of. So let's get rid of all this. Get rid of all these houses real quick. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to look at where the husk can actually come from. So let's go like these guys real quick. So we're going to look at the map. They can come from uh, east, north. Uh, so they'll be coming up this ramp. So they'll be coming to this side of our jail. And uh, they'll be coming up this side uh, and pathing to this side of the jail. So what that tells me is we want to make our jail um, in between that. So we're going to make our jail right here. We're going to take metal. Since there's no metal corrosion, we can use metal. Or since... Uh, there's a, uh, whatchamacallit, no um, lightning storm, we can use metal. 
Uh, so we're gonna make two boxes. One around the objective. We can just start the mission whenever we want to. Uh, one around the objective and one uh, where we want to make our jail. So I just edit these little um, triangle pieces just cause um, so I can have easier movement. Uh, everything else we got to build out, we can build out of wood if we really want to and not upgrade it. So we're gonna place our floor launcher here uh, next to our jail. And we're gonna place our floor launcher in the other spot next to our jail. We're gonna place a wall above the side that's uh, on the um, retrieve the data portion. We're gonna put a ramp up. And we're also gonna do the same for the other side. I personally uh, like to put a little floor here with a uh, pyramid so I can jump up here. Uh, and you'll see why we need that in a little bit. And then we put our base on top. All right, so believe it or not, that's all the pieces we really need. Now we just gotta upgrade our metal. Uh, so, and then I'll show you where like the wall lights go. So we're gonna put a wall light right here while things are upgrading. It's gonna be on one of the inside corners. So we put our wall lights here and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. The second wall light won't go in until that one's going off, gone off in the mission. So let's wait for this upgrade real quick. Um, as well as uh, what makes this mission easier if you uh, are trying to solo it and you don't have a base decoy. Uh, you can also put these, you can edit, uh, you can put three floors down, uh, a wall and a wall right here. We can edit these into a little, uh, hold on, I messed up my edit, feels bad chat. You can edit into a little um, half wall right here. You can edit it half floor, uh, edit out those three pieces, edit out half floor, and then edit the same little wall piece over here. And the husks won't beat on the walls right here uh, because there'll be too much in HP in between them and it. So they'll walk up here, they'll see, oh crap, I don't want to walk into this, and they'll walk over onto your floor launcher. So we're gonna edit the rest, or er, upgrade the rest of this. This, is, you, this isn't necessary, this little, um, these pieces over here, but it's gonna help you a lot if you're doing this and you're struggling with it. It'll also buy you more time. So I'm just gonna place down my banner right here. So I spawn here if I die when I'm trying to do this. Ah, uh, let's kill this patrol real quick. Feels bad, chat. Yeah, that's the problem with being a constructor sometime and you're trying to solo missions is you literally can't kill stuff. That's a smasher. That's scary. Yeah, definitely clear out the smashers around before this starts, or else you're going to be having a very bad time with this. Get away from me, little smasher! Yeah, the blizzard blitzer that I have, while well, good, frankly, I just don't have enough DPS to, like, DPS these down all the way solo. So, uh, this jail build's where that comes into court. We'll decoy this guy, because Ryan Muskies are the devil. And then we also have a little lobber we need to take out. Alright, where are you, little lobber? Oh no, I didn't aggro that smasher too. Feels bad, guys. Well, you know what? Videos don't go perfect sometimes, and we still have time to shoot down our, um, whatchamacallit, our, uh, retrieve the data balloon, so that's fine. Alright, so we'll just DPS these guys down real quick. Oh, that's a smasher. Can a snowball go through that? It cannot. Uh, Blizzard Blitz are OP. If you guys can find the perk where it hits them for seven times and it freezes them, you can literally just stun lock things like that. We're gonna drop that on him. And there we go. Alright. So now that we've uh, taken out the patrol, that was a pretty large patrol to be honest, um, we're going to upgrade the rest of these that we didn't. So we have that already and we're already set. So we're going to close this off and we're going to start the mission. So I'm going to take a sniper, which I don't have. I'll just make an obliterator real quick. But um, 
Yeah, so like, most guns are out of range to shoot this down, so you have to usually use a sniper. So we're gonna shoot it down, right? And now our goal is to A, get them onto these little uh, floor launchers. Um, if they're beating on another wall, then you're going to want to uh, decoy them. But we're gonna sit in here, and then we're gonna see where we need to decoy. They'll all usually path to those uh, floor launchers. If they don't, they don't. And we're gonna have to decoy them there. So, we're gonna use a floor launch, or a decoy. They're all gonna decoy onto this. They're gonna get sent to that jail. Alright, so I'm gonna die 100% right here. That's perfectly okay. Uh, we have that banner up, and uh, most of the husks aren't beating on like the wrong things. So let's get the rest of these onto uh, our jail. I don't know why that broke. Feels bad, guys. So we're gonna go up into here, we're gonna edit this, and we're gonna wait for our uh, wall launcher to go off. Or our wall light. One, two. Feels bad. I'll be like that. That's fine, they're all into the jail. We can just spawn on our banner real quick. But basically what we're gonna do is stagger our wall lights. Uh, so one, it's gonna go off, we're gonna count one second, two second, and then we're going to place our wall light and they'll be in a stun lock. So we're gonna get up there real quick before anything else hits us. So let's get our uh, wall lights out. One second, two second, place. And now what you'll see is they'll be stuck in a stun lock where they'll get stunned by the wall light and then they'll get stunned again. Stunned by the wall light, stunned again. And our mission's basically over. So now our job right now is to clean up the rest of the husks that are around. So all we have left is really this uh, Miss Monster. And he really isn't going to beat on our walls. So we can go up here, box ourselves in, and that's basically the mission one. So let's just shall and sip the rest of this. But um, any, you can really do anything after this. You can go farm a little bit, do anything. Those uh, those husks inside the uh, jail, we could basically go in there. If there wasn't bees in there, we could go in there and sit with them. They can't actually hit you uh, because of how the timing works. So yeah, we could go and sit in there, which I'll make that point in a second. We can go and sit in here. The husks aren't actually hitting us. The bees are hitting us, though. But yeah, uh, that's how... Uh, this jail works, to be honest. So one of the things you guys will notice uh, when I'm doing this is at the 13th file out of 16, if you look in the upper right hand corner where it says total files, there won't be a mini boss spawning at the 13th file like there normally would be. That's because there is a mob cap, uh, so only a certain amount of husks can spawn without the other ones dying off. So if nothing dies off during that amount of a time, there's going to be no mini boss that spawn. So if we look at our mini map, there's no skull that pops up in the outer uh, area where husks normally spawn. Uh, so if you don't kill anything, the mini boss won't spawn, and we get free ride to the rewards. So there is nothing that actually can uh, like destroy our base. The other reason this works is because uh, mainly the mist monsters that will actually destroy your base and the things that will destroy your base like lobbers, flingers, smashers don't spawn on the first wave of husks. So um, if they do you can kill them and you can get another husk from it but um, they don't spawn that first wave. So we got easy husks, we got husky husks, we got regular husks, we got the small ones and we have blasters that spawn on the first wave to retrieve the data. As long as there uh, isn't like anything else you're good. Like, I even left the up, uh, top of this open. Like, nothing got in here. No uh, health has been taken off to retrieve the data. Nothing. We can even open this up from now on, if we're honest. There's nothing else that will actually come over here outside of patrols, and we killed those off at the beginning. Uh, so, frankly, we basically won the mission without even doing anything. Uh, that's the power of this jail build. And it's the best jail build that I've come across. It only uses four traps, which is two wall launchers. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Two wall launchers and two wall lights. The main thing we're doing is staggering those wall lights, though. So you got to make sure your timing is really good. Uh, so you're going to place down your wall light, your first one. You're going to wait for it to go off. You're going to count one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And then you're going to place your second one. That's going to put them in that stun lock with... Uh, 
how he did it. And we still have durability left on our wall lights. It's really the best thing, and I'll show you guys the mission rewards from this. Uh, if you do it in private, you don't have to kill a single thing, basically, and you'll get full mission rewards. I'm about to get like 400 uh, rain drops from this, from basically sitting there and shallow and sipping uh, and drinking some hot cocoa. It's really insane, and I really... It's made the game a lot easier to get uh, Evo mats, if I'm being honest. You just have to have a retrieve the data... Uh, with Evo mats, four times Evo mats, and you just run it on that, to be honest. You can solo any mission, uh, basically in the entire game, uh, that's retrieved the data. But we'll check the rewards real quick before I leave and uh, sign off. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and comment down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content like this, honestly. Uh, I'll show off a couple builds, I'll show off like how I did that, but we got 280 raindrops right there. I kind of skipped over it because I'm a dummy, but uh, we got that, dudes. So make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content like this. Uh, I have a couple of videos I'm going to make pretty soon, including my next uh, reworked canny endurance video. I've made it AFKable up to wave 30, so uh, make sure to leave a like on the video. All right, signing off. See y'all.